How many credit cards do you really need? That is a common question many people may ask, but is more complex than a simple answer. Because some will argue that all you really need is one good credit card, while others will say you need many different credit cards for many different reasons. Well, in this video, I plan to highlight some facts, explore some examples, as well as provide my opinion in the end. What's going on thinkers, Chris Robinson here to remind you guys to smash the like button to help this video reach others who may need to know this information. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe so that you can stay in the loop of similar videos like this. Besides, it only does more good than harm. So go ahead and subscribe and smash the like button. Okay, so just to get a general idea of how many credit cards the average American has, according to Experian, the average American has about four credit cards. So knowing this information can help you understand the norm according to your state. However, it's also important to know that there are pros and cons to having multiple credit cards, but that always depend on the person and how well they manage them. So you're probably wondering at this point, so how many credit cards do I need in order to reach a 700 or even an 800 plus credit score? Well, the answer to that question is a little more complex to answer due to the fact that every individual has a unique credit score which is calculated on a unique basis. However, just to get an idea on the average, individuals with credit scores ranging from 750 all the way up to 850 hold an average of three open credit cards and an average of six open and closed credit cards. As for individuals with a credit score of 800 and above, they hold an average of 10 revolving credit accounts. Although revolving credit is anything from credit cards, personal or business line of credit, and home equity line of credit, it's important to know that most common types of revolving credit is a credit card, so knowing this can serve as a benchmark for the question that we ask based on the number of credit cards we need in order to reach a 700 or above credit score. Also, just as a side note, in my previous video, I provided some tips on how you can reach the 700 or even the 800 credit score club. So if you're interested in watching that video, I'll attach a link to the video in the description box below. All right, so now that we understand some of the averages, now let's try to understand some of the pros and cons of having multiple credit cards and having a credit card in general. All right, so let's just start with the benefits first. So the main reason many people get multiple credit cards is to increase their available credit limit. This can help boost your credit depending on your credit utilization ratio. Another reason is based on maximizing rewards. There are many different cards for many different reward opportunities, and some people want to get rewards for everything that they know that they utilize in their life, and this can be anything from gas, travel, and cashback rewards. Now, let's highlight the downsides to having multiple credit cards. It is important, however, to note that although having many credit cards can help your credit score, on the other hand, it can be more detrimental if you don't know how to manage them properly. For starts, it can affect your credit age, which is worth 15% of your FICO score, and new credit, which is worth 10% of your FICO score. Every time you add a new account to your credit profile, it will make a change to the average length of credit history. So new accounts almost always require a new inquiry, which can take a toll on your credit score if you have too many. In fact, if you really screw up with managing multiple different credit cards, you can also affect your utilization and payment history, which is worth 65% of your FICO score combined. All of these factors combined is worth 90% of your overall FICO score. So just imagine how deep of a grave you can dig for your credit. Okay, so as for my opinion and what I think, I believe having multiple credit cards can add flexibility to the way you utilize your credit. I also believe that having different credit cards for different benefits can be highly beneficial to your financial growth. However, I only recommend that you apply for credit cards that you know that you pre-qualify for or even a credit card that you know for sure that you will get approved for. Also, I recommend that you only use your credit cards for the rewards that's available if you have 95-100% to of the cash to pay it back right away. And that way, you can really maximize your rewards by getting free money as well as avoiding high interest. This will also prevent you from taking a hit to your credit score if your credit utilization were to get too high or even if you get so backed up that you will miss a payment. Alright, so knowing what we know now, we know that there is no perfect answer to how many credit cards we should have because there are many people who live their lives perfectly fine with no credit cards and there are also many who live their life perfectly fine with just one credit card. However, we can agree that having multiple credit cards could be beneficial if you know how to manage them properly. And to ensure that multiple credit cards will work to your advantage, it's always good to be aware of the rewards, due dates, and terms for using the credit card, 
just so that you won't fall into a grave of credit card debt, and we all know how difficult that can be to climb out of due to the excessive interest rates. All right guys, so I hope this information was beneficial, and if you found this video helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your support, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for related content. That's my cue. I see you guys in the next video. Peace.